Hi, I am Kimmy F, and welcome to KJ News 30. Today we are going to discuss one of the biggest musical influencers during the 1960s, 70s, and early 80s. His original name was Marvin Pence Gay Jr. He went by Marvin Gay. Marvin Gaye was born on April 2, 1939 in Washington, D.C. He was known as an American singer, songwriter, and producer. Gaye helped shape the sound of Motown in the 1960s. He started off as an in-house session player, then later turned into a solo artist with a lots of hits, including Ain't That Particular, I Heard It Through the Grapevine, and also How Sweet It Is to Be Loved by You. During the late 60s, Marvin Gaye took a break from the public life, even though he was still working. In 1969, MPG became his first number one R&B album. During his time alive, he made an impact that signified the development of black music from raw rhythm and blues. He is still important today because of his song, What's Going On. During 1971, the song was representing era of protests against the war. Unfortunately, Marvin Gaye was shot and killed by his own father on April 1st, 1984 in Los Angeles. May his legacy live on. Now on to Josh with more important news on the Salem to Montgomery March. Thanks, Cammie. And as she said today, I will be talking to you about the Selma to Montgomery March that took place in 1965. On March 7th, the beginning of the march where colored men, women, and children began their 54-mile march from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama. The march took place three times and ended the 21st. The march began as a result of the death of Jimmy Lee Jackson, a civil rights activist shot to death by a state trooper. Hence, Africans, African Americans began their march from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama. As they protested, the police forced them back with brute force. After the march ended, the people had succeeded in making the government pass the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Even after this was passed, there was still prejudice against African Americans, but eventually, African Americans were able to live peacefully in the South due to the changes made for them by the government.